So you got yourself a fancy new camera, you start filming some shit, you get the footage back and you notice everything's a little gray. Your skin looks grayer than the aliens who examine our anal passageways in the night while we rest. And that's not acceptable. I'm always so shocked when I film myself and then I take the footage into Premiere Pro and everything just looks so gray. Like I'm sick, like I got type 17 diabetes and my back is broken. And squirrels are feeding me. So we do some color tweaking so it makes us look like we're not dying of zebra AIDS. And then the video's acceptable. Now I will admit, I don't know what the hell I'm doing when it comes to color correcting. I'll show you, here's the non-color corrected version of this. And then I just do that. I don't know what I'm doing. I'll show you the settings. I just like do some stuff, nothing special. One thing I never do though is balance the white balance. What, that felt wrong. You can't say balance too many times in one sentence. Well boy have I found the solution. Oh my god, we're about to find out if this little card can save us from disease, famine, and restless nights at sea. Let's find out. Why do you do it? Do it. So a big thank you to Peter Gregg. He's doing this free giveaway. Like he has these. He sells them usually. And the Christmas spirit has just seeped into his heart early and he's given them away for now you got to pay for shipping but it's not much so i would i jumped on it i jumped on that and he was kind enough to send me the bonus package just such a kind heart he's santa claus literally literally that is santa claus manifested so we're gonna test it today let's hope i don't mess this up and ruin his career so Right now, what you're looking at is just my regular color correction. No white balance efforts have been put forth. And this is what it looks like. This is what you're used to seeing. I don't know what I'm doing. I've gotten offers. Somebody offered me the everything man. He said, I wish I could color grade your videos because you suck so much, but I love your content. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, my friend. Go subscribe to the everything man. He's a camera channel. How the hell are you not subscribed to him? How dare you go subscribe? So now we're going to take off the color correction. There we go. We now have diabetes and some sort of Lyme disease. And that's okay. I'm coping. I, I can go for walks in the woods sometimes if I have help. So what we're going to do, apparently you stick this thing up and then you dropper tool it. Shazam. Now we are color corrected. Holy shit. No, we're not. We're white balanced though. And now I'm going to apply the color correction that I always apply. And then we're going to compare it to the loser from like 30 seconds ago who didn't have the white balance tool. It's the proper white balance tool. Which looks better? Is there a difference? There better be. I just realized how much damn editing I'm going to have to do split and clips color correct this one which one was I talking about I don't know so now we're color corrected do you notice a difference post it down below and if you do notice a difference go get one yourself they're free it's like seven dollars shipping mine was a little more expensive I live on the other side of the earth but that's fine I always film in the portrait mode for some reason I just figure Panasonic knows how to make the face better in portrait mode and then I tweak some shit I just looked at the settings and I can't remember it. There's only four numbers that I had to remember. I'm stupid. But it was something like minus four on the top one, the contrast, and then nothing on the sharpness, I leave it, and then like minus a lot on the saturation and minus a lot on the noise reduction, which is why you see noise everywhere, but it's sharper. Take that. So I honestly don't know what the hell I'm doing when it comes to all this stuff. Camera settings in camera and then tweaking it out. It's not that important to me. I just try to look a little healthier. Just glow up my skin a little bit and we do that. But I do want to test something. I want to try the Cine Like D profile. Let's try that right now. That's flattering. Wow. How come I haven't been using this? 
This is great. But what if? What if we white balance it? And then we switch it up a notch? Are we now fantastic beings of the light? Or what? Now compare that to the other profile. There should be more dynamic range in this one. Will I ever use that in my life? I don't know. I don't need more dynamic range in my hair. The more dynamic range, the more you can see my scalp and it looks like I'm, I got patchy arthritis in my brain. <laughs> so I just wanted to play around with that and the new card. Haven't used it yet. So let me know how that went. And thank you so much, Peter Gregg. Go subscribe to Peter Gregg. He's just so calming. I always watch him when I'm eating. He makes a nice long video and he talks about his new cameras. I think he got the Nikon Z6 now. It's a decent little camera, it looks like. Kept focus, it focuses better than the Canon now. You loser Canon system. What have you done with yourself? So I'm constantly thinking of what I should upgrade to and I, I just don't see it. I don't see it. I kind of wanted that 15 mil F 1.7 for this camera, but then I'm just like, this works. It's gonna be a little lighter, that's about it. And then I'll have to focus, and I found a hack. You get the remote, so you plug it into the side, you have this little remote, so you set it up, lock off the focus, and then focus on yourself, bing, and then you lock it, and you're done. So I could do videos like this, but I want some freedom in my life. I'd like to be able to set this thing down and go walk around and do some weird shit, and have it focus on me. It would be nice. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. So we're done. We're ranting. Thank you for watching it. And thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you in the next one.